I have been on 90 dates with 90 different men. Welcome back, family. This is where a man exposes a fake female fitness influencer. As always, you might not see my videos on your feed again, so make sure you like this video, comment, and subscribe. Personal trainers editing their photos to sell you bull a tale as old as time. Destiny Louise, welcome to the show. Today we welcome Destiny Louise, 35,000 followers, a certified personal trainer. She says she helps women achieve their own body goals. Destiny is great in the caption. She's always giving out motivation, telling you to love yourself more. She says here, don't compare yourself to others, embrace your uniqueness, and shine your own light. Now, of course, this message would have gone a lot further if you didn't edit your photo to make your ass bigger and your waist smaller in it, Destiny. There's something a little perverse about saying don't compare yourself to others, embrace your own uniqueness and shine your own light, and then editing yourself to look like a different person. And it becomes even more perverse when you sell booty plans and you're an online personal trainer. But you know what you're doing, Destiny. The photos that you edited the most are always the ones where you're selling your training programs. Look at the caption here. Look at this photo. If we zoom in, this seat looks a little crooked, but we need another photo of it to confirm. Thankfully, you take photos in this spot all the time. Here's the picture. Let's zoom in and compare them. Got him. Yeah, that looks nothing like this over here. What the fuck are you doing? Look at the angle we got going on over there. But guys, remember, you're unique and beautiful in your own way. Which is why I heavily edit the fuck out of my photos before I post them. And don't forget, training app and booty plan in the bio. I cannot lie, bro cooked her. She got cooked so badly that she had to turn off her Instagram comments uh, under her posts. On TikTok and she's like, my secret talent is queefing. And it's like, bruh, you stole your talent from me. I'm the only one that can do that on command. That was the same reaction my face was when I first seen that video. And I'm pretty sure your face is like that as well. What is a woman? What is a woman? You're going to ask me that as a way to try to get content from the channel? What is a woman? A six-year-old can answer that question. I can answer that. I don't appreciate what that. What is a woman? A woman. Because I'm curious how you could be in college and can't answer that question. She doesn't know what a woman is. Woman is a socially constructed category based on biological sex. So what is that, though? Based on what? Based on biological sex. Biological sex is XX chromosome versus XY chromosome. Can an XY chromosome be a woman? Um, socially, yes. So they can wear woman face? We do yes. not. So you can pretend to be a woman? What is pretending yes. to be a woman? Gender doesn't exist, only sex exists. I don't think gender's fake. I, I identify. So I, I was born a woman and I identify as a woman as my gender. But what is that? What is a woman? It's like race. Race is socially constructed. Race is not socially constructed. Wait, you guys don't even agree on that. So can anybody be a white person? No. Well, then I thought you said it's socially constructed. Well, can I be black? This is all of your content. Why not? I thought it's socially constructed. I'll ask the question. Why does it take so much effort to tell me what a woman is? Because this is all you do. This is your content. Ask questions about basic biology. Her parents just need to stop paying for her college at this point, bro. Like, who sent her there? How did she even graduate? I cheated on my ex-boyfriend. He broke up with me. Uh, a few weeks later, I found out that he was moved on into a healthy and happy committed relationship, which did not sit well with me. So I called him and I asked him to please come over so we could talk. When he came over, I told him that I just needed to be with him just this one last time. And then that was going to be it. We did the thing. That girlfriend broke up with him. Some men just don't learn their lesson. Like you got a new girl and now you're going back to the same girl that did you wrong. Okay, make that make sense. How big are you? Hey. Can I feel it? I mean, if you want to do something afterwards, <laughs> then sure. These nuts. <laughs> I'm a grower, um, not a shower, baby. Oh, you're a grower, not a shower? Of course. Okay, I'll give you like a five. Five. Yeah, it's give a stream, I'm sorry. If a man went downtown and started going up to women saying, Oh, how deep's your coochie? Let me stick my finger down there to know how deep it is. He would be on the news and he'll be behind bars, jail. I really just want to take a bong rip of a fucking milf queef. Like, how high can I get off of milf queefs? I'll inhale that shit through my nose, too. The things these girls post on Instagram just for a little bit of clout. Hey, listen, there's no. people sleeping. Austin. I'm going to need you Austin. to calm down. What is he doing? He's talking. Austin, they're going to arrest me. Austin. Hey. Stop. Stop. You're not allowed to do this. You have to let us see each other. You're breaking the rules, Austin. 
Austin! Good. Austin! Yeah. Austin! Just sitting out here. Okay, watch out. I'm gonna walk out. Austin, can I still stay, Austin? Can I come back in? You, Austin, can I come in? Austin, you got to, Austin, can I come in? Hey, listen, you're... Austin. You're going to get me with a lot no. of noise Austin. Right, now. right, so all okay. you have to do is end this. Let her, let her come up can here. I, Who's on the phone? Can you come can in? Win the phone. Yep. Yeah. Austin, can I come in? Can watch out. They're gonna my stuff's in there. Okay, they're going to talk to I need to get... No one's going to talk Austin, my dog's in there. Can no I come in, Austin? Austin. Watch me. They're not letting me in. Okay, you are right. Don't shut the door. Listen. Austin, no one's gonna Austin, don't leave me. Austin, don't shut the door. Austin. Hey, stop. No. You just grabbed me, all right? I didn't grab you. Everybody's been hurting me and I don't know why. No one's talking. Austin, do not show your sister! What the f is going on? What is going on? I want to know what's going on with you. Me too! Do you need help? Hey, you no, need I'm going. Something? Is something going on? No! So we better... We're weeping. We're, we're getting married. I would like to talk to him, please. Well... Can I have a lighter, please? Do not, ma'am. Maybe. Everyone's saying this girl needs some mental help. I'm trying to figure out what type of pipe he's laying to get this girl to act this way. Anytime a woman is fully finished getting ran through, they say they're celibate and they're a changed person. And all of a sudden, they're attracted to good guys. Right, but when you say now, that, you know, most OnlyFans Yeah, most of them will be broke. Exception. Most people, yeah. even in the most developed economy in the world, the United States of America, are not business people. There's no chance that an OnlyFans girl who makes multiple millions is going to display significantly different behavior than, say, a football player who makes many millions and ends up broke years later. Why would she do anything differently? And the football player has an agent around him has a financial manager and they still end up broke here's why they acquired their wealth not using the mind but using the body it doesn't mean they don't have a mind but often they've not developed the skills of financial literacy and what's more they don't know much about investing and they don't have a business that they can push that money into such that it would grow instead of disappear because they're gonna maintain a certain lifestyle so yes they will inevitably become broke and that's in the majority of cases now if you guys are outliers I very much so hope that's the case I'd be happy for you and impressed but it's improbable and he's 1000% correct a lot of these girls don't have have the mental capacity to handle all those millions of dollars i have been on 90 dates with 90 different men in the past year and a half now like that is a lot of people and like kudos to me for finding the time to like actually get that done like i don't know how i did that I'm giving myself a pat on the back because that took hustle this is not a flex in any way something about coaches in the fitness world that just grinds my gears when they edit their photos coach naira Welcome to the show. So today we welcome Coach Naira, 568,000 followers. She's an online coach and sells nutrition plans. She loves to post photos of her own progress. She's very proud of it. Except for one dirty little secret. She edits all of her photos. I mean, I suppose it's possible that that weight stack behind her is crooked. However, that seems unlikely. But thankfully, she left a reference image, so we know it's straight over here when her ass isn't right on top of it. And it's crooked over here because she stretches her butt out. And I mean, she's massively cooking every single photo. Look at the pillar behind her here. Either that squat rack is crooked, or she edits everything. This is one of those, like, do I even need to zoom in? Like, come on, lady. Only the tiles around your hips and your waist are crooked. You didn't think you were going to get away with this, did you? And speaking of get away with it, how can you post a two-month client transformation and they're wearing high-waisted shorts with the waist down and the waist up in the after? Like, yeah, I'd look real thin, too, if I tucked my stomach into some high-waisted shorts for an after photo. This is criminal. Like, you know this is wrong. Here's a five-month transformation. And you almost did the unthinkable in this one. Now, I hope I'm wrong about this, but I noticed something interesting about these two photos. On the left, there's three easily identifiable birthmarks in the photo. I've circled them all here. But they're not visible in this photo. Is this even the same person? Naira. Technically, this is scamming. Technically, this is fraud as well. This is no different from Baba Tunde trying to call you from Africa telling you that he needs your social insurance number. A heinous crime sparked, police say, by a husband enraged that his wife might be having an affair. What happened next, we have to warn you, is so violent it may not be appropriate for some viewers.
This woman has two black eyes, the result, cops say, of a beating by her enraged husband after he discovered she was having an affair with a co-worker. What authorities say happened next is shocking. This case is especially heinous and gruesome. 31-year-old Brittany Barron told police her husband Armando was looking through her phone when he found text messages from her co-worker Jonathan Amaralt. They both worked at a medical supply company in New Hampshire. Brittany said what followed was a violent assault with her husband beating her about the face repeatedly and strangling her so hard she says she passed out. Then her husband texted her lover pretending to be Brittany and lured him to meet at a park in the woods. When Amaral showed up for the middle of the night rendezvous with his alleged lover, a grim fate awaited him. That's when Brittany told investigators her husband turned and shot Jonathan three times twice in the chest and once in the head. The couple then drove 200 miles with the body into the deep forests of New Hampshire, where the husband ordered Brittany to cut off Jonathan's head with a saw so that he could not be identified, according to court. Should he have done what he has done? Let me know in the comment section below. Out with like I've had so many guy friends sure. back in the day. Well, I still do, but like back in the day Red when flag. I was like, ah, <laughs> no, but like back in the day, if I was like single and like I wanted to get some, like I would just be like, yo, we're friends, but like, see, you know, like see? you want to just like hook up one time. Like this is proof that your girlfriend or wife should never have guy friends. She just said it. <laughs> it's it's my best friend. It's okay, all right, big guy. No, 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 you you good, you good, you good. No I, way, no I know way. I am. I know. You you're good, you're good. No, no way, no, no way. No, 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 no. It's my best friend's little daughter. For sure. You're, yeah, you know. Listen, your hands are bad. Tomorrow, come out with us. All good. It's just, it's my buddy's birthday. Absolutely, I respect yeah. it. I respect it. I respect it. I know it. you do. I, I know you do. It. And I wasn't trying to be an asshole. Too. Yeah, you yeah, I get that. it. I get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. So tomorrow? Uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll just yeah, leave. Okay. But, but <laughs> you see us tomorrow. Salute. Have a good night, brother. Uh, you too. <laughs> this man is the ultimate cock blocker. Two thousand. What a data fan. I have ugh, I have dated a lot of fans. I have banged a lot of fans. So I think now, sorry guys, I would not date a fan because I wouldn't let it develop into a relationship because it couldn't get past the way they view me as Adriana or their friends view me as Adriana to be able to become intimate. So no. Nah. In fact, every man is gonna see you as Adriana, the corn star. Maybe okay. I'm 100 percent sure. I already know. Well, then what and happened in that one yeah, night stand okay. that makes that it takes what, one time? Yeah, it, it does takes take one time. time. It like, does, but you just don't want to be in our life. Like, it does, but you have to finish. You have to finish before results, a baby can be conceived. Okay. What do you Whatever. mean? You, are you trying to say that you didn't orgasm the night you two were together? Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. It was one time. Well, you know this. I know it's crazy, Deontay. You know what happened just as well as me and I don't know even know you. What happened? I don't even know you. I don't even know me. Oh, hey, hold on, hold on. I don't even know too because I'm nosy. What happened that night? That night, me and my homeboy was out gambling. Mm -hmm. He told me that he had a friend coming and she was bringing her friend. We ended up hitting it off. We, ha we did what adults do. So I'm like, she pregnant. I'm like, how? I never even. These are your results, so <laughs> What does it say? Can I see? Yeah, you can see. You're not the father. Man, that's crazy. Well? So, I mean, it's like y'all don't really need me anymore. No. <laughs> oh, we go. Oh, we go. I'm sorry for this news. I, I just heard both of you confirm that there was no other men in this picture during that time frame. Well, Karamo, um, what I seen, oh there wasn't no other man, but my best friend, she, she got her own bedroom, too, in the house, so I don't know what she do when I'm sleeping. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just, she blames everybody except herself for her wrong behavior. No accountability. What's your price? I'm 23, <laughs> so like I'll say at least like 10K. The 50 same. million. Probably around there. 10K? Yeah. What's your price, Cap? Yeah. You can get about three, four thousand. I'll be all right. I'll be, I'll be out here. I'm easy. Just give me money. I don't give a fuck what you do. Just give my shit so I can go. Okay. <laughs> What's your price? Um, my price is like 15K to 20K. Like 50K. I either <laughs> fuck for love or for money, and currently it's been for money. Oh, so you fucked them for money? Good thing. Yeah. Oh my god, thank god. What about money? Money is not important. Would you marry an ugly man? I've married one. 
No, I look at my own in the eye. What are you doing? Disgusting. Why? Any any girl with any decency would never walk in the street with them on. Disgusting. Well, I think it's just a gimmick and yeah. um, I don't think any girl in their right mind is it. And this is what society has done to the girls now, bro. Being a slut is now okay. It's no longer shamed. The same questions will be raised about people who will get money by giving their body on something like OnlyFans. And it's out there as a virtual image and it's out there permanently. So the same ethical issues get raised about exploitation. So who's exploiting me? Who's exploiting you? Yeah, you just said that if you do sex... The, the, the CEOs that make millions of dollars from uh, OnlyFans and don't have to take their clothes you off. Okay, wait, wait. Anybody. This is... Again, you can make this argument about any CEO. Like, this is the weirdest thing. People sometimes write this. They're like, well, the CEO of OnlyFans is a guy. If you had a job right now where you were bringing in a shit ton of money and 20% of that money went to the company you were working for, but you were now in the top 1%, like, how exploited are you? <laughs> this is what I, if this is the life of someone who's exploited, someone who has total control over what I post, can quit tomorrow. OnlyFans doesn't do really any oversight on your content except to make sure that it's, you know, that no everyone's consenting and that nothing is violating their terms of service. They get 20%, I get 80%, and I'm a millionaire. This is exploitation and I'm I'm somebody who came I'm a lawyer so it's not like this is a job that I had to do. If you're going to say that's exploitation then every CEO is exploiting the employees in their company. The difference is the lawyer is not taking off her clothes for money. She's not losing her dignity. <laughs> and this is what I'm going to teach my daughter to never hit a man. All right, cool. And I'm here. I'm Bob. Okay, on the scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate her? Yeah, 7 or 8. Seven or eight? Yeah. Say no more. Yeah. So how many people do you think is going to walk out? Five. Five? Five. Do you personally think you're a catfish? No. You don't think you're a catfish? No. Hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this. All right, cool. All right, cool. So man them. Come on, man. Stop. Why is everyone covering me? Jeez. Man them. Hold them. I need my glasses. Hold them. Leave. Stop. You think she's a catfish? Stay if you don't finish this catfish. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't know the man was gonna do that case, bro. Oh shit, the man was cut. <laughs> Can't finish nah, that, you get me? Let's go. You gonna stay? Oh! Jesus Christ. Quick time. One by one, why did you leave? <laughs> I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. Okay. Shit, if a Down syndrome meerkat was a human, <laughs> oh. I'm being honest, like. Oh. <laughs> I'm being no. honest. <laughs> no. I no. no. To be honest, okay. yeah, I was honest. Fair yeah. Enough. Did you right. want me to lie? <laughs> <laughs> Did you want me to lie? I love how all of them just walk off. I did a little bit of research on her and I figured out why she got a divorce because she has an OnlyFans. The freakiest thing I've ever done was let one of my ex boyfriends <laughs> spread his cheeks on my face. <laughs> her father must be so proud. I'm gonna slap it. I'm slap it. I don't know how y'all go around kissing random people and le letting random people that you don't even know touch your booty. Tell everyone the mother of your child is keeping your child from you, but you don't ask to see your child, you're a deadbeat. If the mother of your child has to ask you if you want to see your children, you're a deadbeat. If the only time you see your kids is when it's convenient for you, you're a deadbeat. If you talk bad about the mother of your child, but she's the one who does everything for your child, you're a deadbeat. If the mother of your child has to update you on how your children are doing without you asking about how your children are doing, you're a deadbeat. If you take care of other people's kids, but you don't take care of your own kids, you're a deadbeat. If you go months without seeing your child and then randomly decide you want to be a father, Father again you're a deadbeat if you don't ask about your kids or ask to see your kids you're a deadbeat if the mother of your child has to pay for everything for your child and you just don't pay child support because you don't want to pay child support you're a deadbeat if you make excuses as to why you cannot see your kids you're a deadbeat if you promise your kids you're gonna pick them up and you don't show up because you have something better to do you're a deadbeat if you walk out on your own child and go have another child and provide for that child and not provide for the child you walked out on you're a deadbeat if you put your girlfriend over your own children you're a deadbeat if every time the mother of your child asks you how you cannot provide for your child or see your child and you tell her you don't have time for this you are a deadbeat let me know if she's speaking facts or not in the comments yeah, the men are very <sighs> ran through. It is true, but it's, it you, know what the fuck, you know what the fuck? Men can be ran through all, men can have sex with 300 women. It and, doesn't matter because they're men. But as a woman, if I said I had sex with 300 men, it's like... That's gross. It's disgusting. Yeah. 
Well, I, you I you lost don't. your testosterone. Your dick can't get hard anymore. So what's the point? Well, hopefully at that point, they've already had sex with, like, at least 500 women. Minimum. Minimum. Mm. Minimum. If you're not having sex with 500-plus women by the age of 30, yeah, you're a man. That's just gross. It's not gross. It's pathetic, honestly, that yeah. you couldn't even pull women. I'm going to clear up this debate real quick. A man cannot be ran through. A woman can be ran through. Now, this is why I'm going to say that. When you are having intercourse with someone, am I not sticking my pigolios inside you? Am I not inserting my ting inside you? With that being said, how can a man be ran through if I'm the one doing the running through? Last time I checked, I thought I was the one inserting my PP into your hot pocket. So now if I go and do that with multiple women, I have just smashed multiple women. So now if a woman goes and does the same thing, she is ran through because she let a whole lot of men run through her. This is the only part that applies for both men and women. The more people you sleep with, the less likely you are to settle down with one person. Why? Because you're desensitized. The reason why men put so much emphasis on girls having a lower body count. Us men, we don't put too much emphasis on what career you have or what type of job you have. Or even how much money you got because we got to provide that at the end of the day. But what we care about is how much men has actually conquered your pum pum. And the more men has conquered you, the less valuable you are. Are. You might say, oh, woman might say, oh, you insecure, you're this and that. But it's facts, bro. Us men know the more sexual partners you have, the less easier it is for you to be loyal to one man. And we also know that there's a lot more divorce with a woman that has a higher body count. So why would we see all this and still proceed to go with a woman that's been technically used up that wouldn't make any sense that's like seeing lava on the ground and literally jumping right into it so yes the men that want to marry a woman you need to look for a woman that has a lower body count that has less sexual experiences so make sure you subscribe you like this video and also comment i would love to hear what you have to say and also watch these two videos on the end screen you already know and am i out